Hi guys, this is going to be a video on how I do slow motion or how I slow down my gameplay. So, first, we got a clip. Um, I'm going to slow down this part here. Um, first, we'll just do it with time remapping, then I'll show you what I add on later to um, do a better version of frame blending, basically. So, clip is down here, hit the U key, there's no keyframes uh, applied to it. Enable time remapping. Select a place to start. Sure, why not? A few shots in. Stop it. I'm gonna cut this so I don't have to take so long to render this, or preview this. see some of that was a little shaky oh and I used the zero key to start that key for, uh, preview in case you didn't know that um, with uh, just normal time remapping you can turn on things like um, uh, where would you go frame frame blending and turn on pixel motion uh, that enables this right here but to let you see it visually you have to turn on this for all clips so we'll ram preview that again And you can start to see some of the warping around the gun and the other player's movement. So with stock After Effects, you can do that already. Now under the way I slow down and smooth out my footage. I left the time remapping on the clip but I turned off the pixel motion stuff. Um, we're going to pre-compose the clip. We're going to leave the time remapping on the outside on the pre-composed clip. You hit the U key to see the anything keyframed. There you see the time remapping. We're going to go inside the clip. Apply Twixter Pro. By default Twixter Pro sets it to 29 FPS. You can change that um, well, you need to change it to whatever your footage is at. Right now, my footage is 60 FPS, so I'm going to change that to 60. That's it. You can change other things uh, within here with Twixer Pro, but it's going to have a little effect on the outside with the time remapping. Now we'll ramp preview of the clip. see it smoothed out the rest of the footage there's not a lot of warping so I use time remapping um, to slow down both the audio and visual part of clips footage and I use uh, Twixter to smooth that footage out um, that's about it have fun guys